Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Asmus character of our world around us and this time we will discuss the importance of memory. Memory in our life. I will not talk about memory of each individual person because it's obvious how important it is but the same level of importance, even if not the larger one, applies to our uh, collective memory as a society because we know society is composed of individuals what I mean? I mean that uh, memory one of the uh, expressions of uh, the memory activity is history and the fact that we as people, many of us deal with that dedicate a lot of effort to study it and to make conclusions out of the past events and we even see that such approach is not uh, it's not new one we have uh, a latin saying that tells us that history is a, a teacher of life history teaches us life which is true in the original latin it sounds historia vita magistra est and from even clay tablets from ancient summer so nowadays south of iraq one of the oldest known civilization from this civilizational cycle uh, we have such story written on clay tablets in cuneiform script that this uh, scribe so writer official writer employed by the state is complaining on his uh, lazy and naughty son that son doesn't want to study and doesn't want to learn and is giving him advice son look for the knowledge ask for the knowledge the previous generations ask the past for your answers you should know that everything is there everything in the past is in the past ask for it so we know that wise people wise people realize this uh, important truth long ago and we should also learn from our past to uh, avoid many troubles there is even a simple saying that tells us the ones who do not want to learn history and learn from history will have to repeat it and i'm not only saying to us about medieval ancient or prehistory so i'm not telling only that studying distant events uh, is important even the recent events last two three four years should be always remembered and uh, recalled very very often because we remember remember all of this uh, scandemia and this old circus uh, done around the story of small chinese uh, micro friend and uh, we should also remember and analyze and study this case and re remind it to ourselves and to people to avoid similar uh, tragedy to happen to us again and uh, we should know how to prevent uh, s uh, our governments and managers of corporations and the owners from um, ma making it happen again in similar or different configurations because thanks to our knowledge and thanks to uh, analyzing it and cultivating it we will be able to and uh, to notice that something similar is being prepared and we will have time to react against it to prevent it from happening and all this we can only do when we have our knowledge and memory and we just keep it in our mind uh, convey this knowledge to newer generations to younger people and remind this about these events to other people and I'm here I'm mentioning the events that actually almost all of us remember or should remember unless we were a small kids that were born during this time but I do not uh, demand, demand it from them they will have their own uh, new, next decades to deal with and they will have to apply the same strategy as the one I'm talking about to survive to limit the 
bad influence of governments and corpor uh, corporations, managers and owners on the society. Only awareness and action against it and sharing the knowledge about this what can happen and how it happened will save us from repeating these bad experiences from the past or even experiencing something worse. That's why we should study history, the, the distant one and the closest one, remind it to ourselves, analyze it and apply it into our lives, not to run into troubles. So, so take care, my dears, all the best, bye, have a nice day.